driving video in Ecuador. We're about 45 minutes outside of Quito, headed south. We've got about two hours to our destination, which is Baños. We just stayed in, uh, where we eat at, Angela? Machachi. Machachi. A roadside gas station store restaurant. Pretty good food. So now we're just going to make these two hours down to Baños. We're going to stay two nights. There's a lot of things to do in Baños. Uh, they've got, it's a place where they have that big swing that you've seen pictures of where it looks like you're just going off into nowhere, off the cliff. Um, they've got a, a lot of waterfalls, a route with several waterfalls. We'll see at least one of them. Um, there's a lot of things to do there. There's a really super well-known volcano on the left here that you probably saw at the beginning of the video. Um, I'm going to have to look up the name again. Something like Pacuali or something like that. Pacuali. There's some somewhere along this highway. I know there's some lookouts we can pull off and look and take pictures. And I'm sure I'll probably do that because we're not going to come back this way. We're going to make a big loop and end up back at Quito coming from a different place um, when we're done. So here in Ecuador, they use the US dollar. That's the currency. So that's it's kind of different, surprisingly, down here in South America. Um, obviously, things are cheaper here. We bought about four, four one-liter bottles of water to have with us on the drive, and it was only two dollars and sixty cents. So, uh, you know, normally at a convenience store, that probably be on the price for one one liter bottle. Our vehicle is a Kia something. I don't know the name of it. It's a, whatever their new minivan is. We like it, spacious and comfortable for the drive. The big difference we noticed here in Ecuador versus the Colombia is the motorcycles. There's not a lot of motorcycles here like it was in Colombia. This is more kind of like the U.S. as far as how many motorcycles there are. A lot of roadside places there. Yeah. When we just left Quito, there were several, I, I'd say about every, I don't know, every half mile, there was a roadside stand selling watermelon. And I'm, I mean, that, we saw more than 10 of them, right, Antoine? Yeah. I mean, there was a lot of them. Both sides. Yeah, both sides of the road. We actually haven't, since then, we haven't seen any. It must just be that area. So, Quito, to me, reminds me somewhat of La Paz, Bolivia, just on a smaller scale. Not quite as high altitude. Um, but it's mountainous city, mountains all the way around. And this highway we've been on is curving up and down around through mountains. Yeah, look at the size of that. That's nice. We'll have to see what the elevation is on that. We'll get we'll get the name and the elevation for Shell and Nana. They you want to hike up it. You can look it up on all trails. Maybe next summer we can all go up it. The speed limit on this highway is 90 kilometers per hour. Pretty much the whole way. That truck just came way over in our lane. So far, the road's been very good. We've had one toll that we've had to pay so far, um, and it was just a dollar, which we used a coin. When I paid for the water at the convenience store, 
gave him a 20 and he gave me change and I don't know if, if he just happened to have some or if they use them a lot here, but he didn't give me any singles. All the $1 bills, well they weren't bills, all the $1 were the gold $1 coins. So we'll see as we're here longer if that's what they use for their dollar or if they actually have the bills as well. Stop it at 9.59 unless you see something super interesting leading up to that. 